I'm going to skip through a lot of this. I'm on page 268 in the front of the hymnal. Holy baptism. And we'll do most of this here, and then we'll take the kids up there, obviously, and, and do the baptism. But we'll do all the... Well, y'all normally have to stand up there and listen to... Let's just have y'all sit. It'll make life a little bit easier. All right. Okay. And... First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Scott Sunby. I'm the pastor here. You I know. I don't think we've met yet. No. Nope. I'm Dylan. Nice to meet you, Dylan. Nice I'm Scott. I'm Atlas. I'm Atlas. And you're Atlas and Henry, right? Yes. This is like y'all's big day here. You are <laughs> the center of the event. Let me tell you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dearly beloved, Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the last chapter of Mark, our Lord promises, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. And the Apostle Peter is written, baptism now saves you. The Word of God teaches that we are all conceived and born sinful and are under the power of the devil until Christ claims us as his own. We would be lost forever unless delivered from sin, death, and everlasting condemnation. But the Father of all mercy and grace has sent his Son, Jesus Christ, who atoned for the sin of the world, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And, and then, this is usually where we, Atlas, I'm going to give you and say, a place to the sign of the cross, which is about Jesus, on your forehead and on your breast, to mark you as one redeemed by Jesus. And then Henry, also the sign of the cross, on your forehead and on your breast, to mark you as one redeemed by Jesus. Let's pray. Almighty and eternal God, according to your strict judgment, you condemn the unbelieving world through the flood. Yet, according to your great mercy, you have preserved, believing Noah and his family, eight souls in all. You drowned the hard-hearted Pharaoh and all his hosts in the Red Sea. Yet you let your people Israel through the water on dry ground, foreshadowing the swashing of holy baptism. Through the baptism of the Jordan, your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you sanctified and instituted all waters to be blessed, blood, and lavish washing away of sin. We pray that you would behold both Atlas and Henry according to your mercy, and bless them with true faith by the Holy Spirit, that through the saving flood of all sin in him, which has been inherited from Adam, and which he himself, they themselves, uh, committed sins would be drowned and die. Grant that they be kept safe and secure in the holy ark of the Christian church, being separated from the multitude of unbelievers, and serving your name at all times with fervent spirit and joyful hope, so that with all your believers in your promise, they would be declared worthy of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. All right. And in the past, Essentially, the way it used to work, uh, well, if it was older, they would uh, be instructed, right? But since they can't be instructed too well at this point, uh, we baptize, but that is also part of what's coming. Is your, you two, is your responsibility is to bring them up in the church, teach them about this faith that they have. The wonderful beauty of baptism is is when they're baptized, they receive two things. According to Acts 2.38, they'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and forgiveness of sins. And, and I'm sure you can already attest to me that they're sinful. But uh, they also can wonderfully receive this forgiveness of God in the heart and the spirit and the soul. And Jesus says, they're mine. 
and that's pretty cool stuff. So that's part of what we're here doing here today. And that's why they have a reference down here in Mark chapter 10. Let the little children come to me and do not forbid them. For, for of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. And he took them up in his arms, put his hand on them, and blessed them. Let's join together in the Lord's Prayer on the next page, Top 270. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord preserve you, your coming and going out from this time forevermore. Amen. Now, let's confess together on behalf of Atlas and Henry, the confession of the church. He's just tired or hungry or all the above. <laughs> so if you'll follow through with me. Uh, do you believe in Let's just recite. Well, I'll just go through it and y'all say, yes, I believe, okay? Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried? He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From this he will come to judgment of the living and the dead. Do you believe? Yes, yes I believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? Yes, I believe. All right. I think it's time to baptize a couple boys. And if y'all will come over here and help with stuff. water on your head, okay? You want to touch it? Feel it? It's not very hot. I mean, not cold. That feel all right? All right. Lean way up here. There you go. All right. Atlas Eli. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Atlas, may this new life that you have through your Lord and Savior Jesus continue to keep you and preserve you into life eternal. Amen. You want to hold that? Amen. All right. Cool. All right. And then Henry. Henry Evan. Henry Evan. 
Henry, if you'll go ahead and just lean him over here. Henry, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Henry, may this life that you have through Jesus as your Savior continue to keep you and preserve you into life everlasting. Amen. Good job. All right, let y'all hold that. Use the white off of it. And then, let's go ahead and light these candles. Good job. Normally, we kind of do this, but go ahead and light them, and we'll say a prayer here. These two candles just to remember a baptismal birth that birthday. Let's do a prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for this special day. Lord, we thank you for the wonderful power of baptism and how you touch and change lives from the inside out, from the heart and soul. Lord, we do lift up Henry and Atlas. We pray your blessings on them. Lord, we pray that you do help them to continue to grow. And, and know you more and more as their Savior. It's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 And then lastly, sponsors, right? You all have a job to do, which is to encourage them in their faith. You know, as they continue to grow up, you know, remind them of this, this baptismal date as much as their regular birth date. Because this is the new life in Jesus. And, and it, uh, to nudge and encourage parents when they need to be teaching them. That's your job is to get on to them. <laughs> and then as they get older, you will be on, involved in, in encouraging them, praying for them, letting them know you're praying for them. And then for all of you, as, as they continue to grow up, learn about what that creed is about. Learn about what this baptism is about and, and what their faith is. They've got it. It's there, but it's it's like anything where you plant a seed, but if you don't water it, you don't nurture it, it doesn't get the sunlight, not gonna happen, nothing's much gonna happen with it. But if you nourish that by keeping them in God's word and encouraging their faith, you'll see that grow. That's pretty awesome. Will the Lord bless you and keep you? Will the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious gracious unto you? And keep you in his favor. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. We are good. We can blow those out. <laughs>